Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. One of the biggest differentiating features of DxO Photo Lab 7 is its denoising technology. However, if you are new to DxO Photo Lab 7, you may have noticed that DxO has not just one but four denoising options with multiple controls that while powerful may confuse new users. So in this video, I thought it would be useful particularly for new users to go through the differences between each denoising technology and how to properly use the denoising panel so you can get most out of DxO Photo Lab 7. So let's get right into it. To access DxO denoising, simply navigate to the details panel. As you can see here, it contains buttons to activate the different noise processing modes which include high quality, prime, D prime, and D prime XD. Before we run through the advantages and disadvantages of each, let's talk about how denoising is previewed. Denoising is primarily previewed through what DxO calls the magnifier loop. To use it, click on the loop tool. As you can see, a tile is shown in the center of the image. Notice that as you move the tile, the contents of the loop are refreshed and display only the selected portion of the image, which has very tiny dimensions of 260 by 155 pixels. To compare the before and after, click and hold the loop. So that is how you preview noise reduction. Let's run through each denoising technology starting with high quality denoising. What are the advantages of high quality? First, it is the only denoising technology that works with both RAW and JPEG. Second, it has the fastest performance among the options. Third, it is automatically applied when you open an image as it comes part of the DxO standard preset. What are its disadvantages? Its main disadvantage is its relatively weak raw noise reduction performance when you compare it to other options. Let's demonstrate high quality denoising with this JPEG image. To use it, there are two ways. The first is automatically. In this mode, which is activated when you click the HQ button, DxO sets the slider values on its own. DxO takes into account the characteristics of the camera and the ISO sensitivity used for the shot. DxO says that even if by default the sliders display the same values, HQ noise reduction is not generic. Aside from automatic, you also have the option to adjust the noise manually. To perform manual noise reduction, you move primarily two sliders, luminance and chrominance. My preferred slider to use is chrominance as it does a great job of removing unsightly colored noise, which is the more important noise to remove. Luminance, on the other hand, I tend to use much more conservatively. Luminance is used for removing grain, and while it certainly does work, the smoothing does tend to reduce a little bit too much detail, resulting in a softer image that I would prefer. One great thing about high-quality denoising is among the options it is the one that requires the least amount of computing resources and gives the fastest performance. It is the only technology that can produce a real-time preview in both the loop and the image viewer, as you can see here. The next question you might ask is, when do you use high-quality denoising? Well, if the file is JPEG, then there is no choice. You have to use high-quality denoising as no other option works with JPEG. If the file is in RAW, high quality denoising would be suitable in any of the following cases. If the noise is low to medium, the computer running DxO is relatively old with a weak graphics card which can't handle newer and better technologies. Or if you're just impatient and want the fastest denoising available. So that is high quality denoising. Let's move on to the next denoising technology DxO Prime. Prime stands for Probabilistic Raw Image Enhancement. According to DxO, these are the advantages of Prime. 
you get better noise reduction with vibrant colors, no aberrations, and perfectly preserved details. It takes advantage of the highest sensitivities offered by the cameras. The EXO says that the higher the ISO sensitivity, the more the difference in processing quality compared to high quality mode will be perceptible. And third, it better preserves color saturation. What are the disadvantages? First, Prime only works with RAW, does not support JPEG. Also, it is unable to display the result in real time in the image viewer. The reason for this is DxO Prime implements complex algorithms that require a lot of computing power. So just in case you want to preview the result for the entire image, DxO says you have to export the image to view it. So let's demonstrate Prime with this image. As you can see here, as I manually adjust the noise reduction, you will notice that the result shown in the image viewer does not match the loop. This demonstrates that in Prime, the image viewer does not show an accurate preview of the denoising and you must rely on the loop or export the image. So when do you use Prime? You use Prime in two scenarios. The image file is raw and your hardware doesn't meet the steep requirements of the better and newer technology, Deep Prime. So that is DxO Prime. Let's move on to DxO Deep Prime and Deep Prime XD. What is the difference between Deep Prime and Deep Prime XD? Well, Deep Prime XD is the newer technology and has been developed to let you extract even more details. XD stands for extra details. What are the advantages of Deep Prime and Deep Prime XD? DxO Deep Prime and Deep Prime XD goes further than Prime. These are based on artificial intelligence and neural network technologies. I believe DxO was one of the first companies to use AI in noise reduction well before the current AI craze. DxO says the advantages of Deep Prime and Deep Prime XD are exceptional image processing quality and noise reduction, better preservation of detail and color, and better high ISO processing. The disadvantages of Deep Prime and Deep Prime XD are high computing requirements, which require a recent computer and powerful graphics card. And because of these requirements, DxO recommends to apply Deep Prime and Deep Prime XD not on all images from a shoot, but on selected images. So let's demonstrate both Deep Prime and Deep Prime XD using this image. As you can see, the operation is practically the same as in Prime, except that unlike Prime, there is no chrominance slider. When do you use D Prime and D Prime XD? As D Prime and D Prime XD gives noticeable denoising improvements over Prime, it is best to use it when you just want the best results. That being said, which one should you use, D Prime or D Prime XD? The answer to that is less straightforward. While D Prime XD is the newer technology and gives superior noise reduction, it also has an unfortunate tendency to distort faces in an unpleasant manner. As such, I recommend for any particular image to try both and choose which one looks better. By the way, this problem has largely been resolved with DxO's latest D Prime XD2 but that technology is not available in Photolab 7. It will probably be available in the upcoming Photolab 8. Finally, here is a comparison of denoising from the four technologies to give you a better feel of the quality you're going to get from one technology to the next. So there you have it, all four DxO denoising technologies in DxO Photolab 7. I hope you found this video helpful. As you can see, there is a reason DxO keeps all four of these options available. Let me know which denoiser you mostly use. Are you sticking with older technologies? Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.